In this devotional, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from Jeremiah 16, verses 14 through 21, where I'll ask the question, how will God restore Israel? Jeremiah 16, verses 14 through 21 says, Therefore, behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when it shall no longer be said, as the Lord lives who brought up the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but as the Lord lives who brought up the people of Israel out of the north country and out of all the countries where he had driven them, for I will bring them back to their own land that I gave to their fathers. Behold, I am sending for many fishers, declares the Lord, and they shall catch them. And afterwards, I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and every hill and out of the clefts of the rocks. For my eyes are on their ways. They are not hidden from me, nor is their iniquity concealed from my eyes. But first, I will doubly repay their iniquity and their sin, because they have polluted my land with the carcasses of their detestable idols and have filled my inheritance with their abominations. O Lord, my strength and my stronghold, my refuge in the day of trouble, to you shall the nations come from the ends of the earth and say, Our fathers have inherited nothing but lies, worthless things in which there is no profit. Can man make for himself gods? Such are not gods. Therefore, behold, I will make them know this once. I will make them know my power and my might, and they shall know that my name is the Lord. Jeremiah is a prophet of doom, and he is prophesying the destruction of Israel and Judah. He's prophesying this great suffering that they are going to experience, and they will experience it because the people had rejected the Lord. They had sought after other gods. They had worshiped false idols instead of worshiping the God of their forefathers who brought them out of the land of Egypt. But along with this prophecy of doom comes this great promise that after a period of time, after a period of punishment, after a period of exile, the Lord is going to restore them. He's going to restore them and put them back into the land that he had given them. And this is the great promise that we see in Jeremiah, the promise of coming doom, but also the promise of restoration. With that in mind, here are three thoughts from Jeremiah 16, verses 14 through 21, answering the question, how will God restore Israel? Thought number one, like the Exodus. The Exodus is one of those pivotal events in the history of Israel. It's one of those things that marks them out and defines them as a people. It's one of the things that helps them to understand who they are and where they come from. And what the Lord tells through Jeremiah is this, that just like the Exodus that comes under the leadership of Moses is a defining characteristic for the people of Israel, so too will the return from exile be a defining thing for them. The people will no longer say, as surely as the Lord brought the people of Israel up out of Egypt, he will say, as surely as the Lord has brought the people out of the north country and all of the lands to which he dispossessed them. This is the promise that the Lord makes that he will restore them and it will be a defining moment for them. It will be like the Exodus. It will be like that time when Moses led the people of Israel out of Egypt. This is what the Lord promises through Jeremiah that a defining moment of the Lord's graciousness will be seen when he brings the people of Israel back from exile. Thought number two, sin punished. The Lord is going to restore Israel, but he isn't going to do it until the sin is punished. And the sin is going to be punished by this great devastation that will take place. And the great devastation is going to let all of the people know, hey, I cannot deal lightly with this God whom we serve. I cannot deal lightly with this one who has called us to be a distinct people. I can't just play with him. It isn't just a game. And the way this gets reiterated here in the prophecies of Jeremiah is that the sin of the people of Israel is punished. It's punished. They will go into exile. They will suffer greatly. They will see massive amounts of death and destruction. And that is because they were disloyal to the God who had given them so much. And what we need to see that the Lord does restore, but he does so along with the punishment of sin. This becomes important when you start to see how Christ receives in himself the punishment due for our sinfulness. Thought number three, lesson taught. 
the lesson that gets taught to the people of Israel, that will be taught to them, is this. The Lord is over and above all things. He will punish sin, but he will also keep his covenant. And this is the wondrous lesson that the people of Israel will receive when they return from the exile. They will know that the Lord is truly God. They will know that he is the one who makes his promises and then brings about the reality of them. They will know that God keeps his covenants, so he must be served. He cannot be dealt with like you deal with the idols of the nations, where, yeah, if you want to worship them, you go ahead, but if you don't, there's nothing really negative going to take place as a result of that. No, the Lord is truly God over all creation. And this is the great lesson that these prophecies and this restoration teaches the people of Israel, that God is not one to be trifled with, that sin will be punished, but his covenants will be kept. And as recipients of covenant promises from God through Christ Jesus, this should be a great comfort to those of us who have faith in him. These three thoughts come from the assigned reading of Jeremiah chapters 12 through 16. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by subscribing to this channel, by clicking on the link in the description, or by joining the Facebook group Through the Bible, where we are reading the text of Scripture together.